Hello friends, today we will talk about dosage calculations. So in dosage calculation, first we have to clear our basic concept. In initial days of my pharmacy, I always confused between dose and dosage. So dose is the amount of medicine administered or injected to the patient, while dosage regimen is the schedule or schedule to the dose for example two times a day three times a day or once in a day so remember the dose is the amount while the dosage is the schedule or schedule of dose so how many times the patient will take in one day since we have clear our basic concept now we will move on to our practice questions so first question, we have a label that says 4 ml heparin sodium injection USP steroid solution 10,000 units per milliliters. If a volume of 2 ml is prepared, how many units will this be? We really don't have to calculate it. Because if the statement is saying 10,000 units per milliliter, so we know that in 2 milliliters it will be double. So I know the answer will be 20,000 units. So in exam, if this type of question, this will be the part of question, not the exactly this type of question. But use your common sense to save your time. The answer is of course A. Let's see the solution. 10,000 units per ml, so x units in 2 ml. When we multiply 2 with the 10,000, it will come 20,000 units. Simple. Next question with the same label. So how many milliliters will you need to prepare a dosage of 5,000 units? So we have 10,000 units per ml and now we have to prepare a dosage with 5,000 units in it. So how many milliliters we will take? The options are A, 5.0 milliliters, which is 5 milliliters, B is 50 milliliters, C is 0 0.5 milliliters and D is 5.5 milliliters. The answer is A, 5 milliliters. Let's see the solution. So if 10,000 units are in 1 milliliters, how much milliliters we have in, uh, sorry, how much, 50,000 units, how much milliliters we will take. So 50,000 divided by 10,000, that is 5 milliliters. Next part of the same question with the same label is if 0 0.50 milliliters of this medication is prepared what will the dosage that is the unit b a 5000 units b 50 units c 25 units d 250 units so it's actually they are dividing it with two like this is one ml and this is half ml so we can guess the answer but the answer is a let's see the solution 10,000 unit is in one ml so x unit in 0 0.50 ml when we multiply 10,000 to 0 0.50 we will get 5,000 unit which is obvious so let's see one more question The physician wrote a prescription order of Humalog U200 insulin contains 200 units per ml. The prescription is stated as insulin 60 units BID two times a day for 30 days. How many milliliters of Humalog U200 insulin you will dispense? Let's see the answer. Answer is 18 milliliters. 
so we have 200 units in 1 milliliters if we need 60 units how many liters we will need so 60 divided by 200 we get 0 0.3 milliliters now we have to dispense for 30 days so we multiply this answer to 30 we get 9 milliliters now the patient has to take it two times a day so we multiply it for two and we get 18 milliliters so the total amount we will dispense is 18 milliliters next question dispense 5000 penicillin g units the available product for penicillin g is stated as 200,000 pen G units in 10 milliliters. How many milliliters will you dispense? Option A, 2.5 milliliters, B, 0 0.25 milliliters, C, 25 milliliters, D, 0 0.025 milliliters. Answer is B. How? 200,000 units are in 10 milliliters and we have to find how much in how much milliliters we will get 5,000 units. So when we divide 5,000 to 200,000 we got and multiply by 10. So we got 0 0.25 milliliters that is the option B. Next question. A prescription calls for 50 units of a drug to be taken three times a day how much will the patient have to take after 10 days have taken after 10 days this is the simplest question I found so the simple is 50 units multiplied by 3 for a day and then the patient is do, uh, taking it for 10 days so everything will be multiplied answer will be a 1500 units and solution is 50 units multiplied by 3 because it says 3 times a day. And the patient took it for 10 days, so multiply by 10. So the total amount is 15, 1500 units. Next question is, a pharmacist receive a prescription order stated as Humulin R250 units BID for 30 days. The label on the drug stated as Humulin R 500 units per ml. How many milliliters of Humulin R you dispense? When we calculate it, it says like 500 units in 1 ml and we want to know 250 units in X ml. So when we divide it, it comes 0 0.5 ml. When you multiply it for 30 days, it will come 15 milliliters. And for two times a day, for BID, 15 multiplied by 2. So the total amount will be 30 ml. That, that's the total amount you will dispense. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and share. And keep study.